Um, can you speak to the relationship between parallel processing and embedded systems, where it is today and where it's going tomorrow? Well, parallel processing has been around for a long time. What we're seeing is a lot of the capabilities you previously only had on larger systems are starting to scale down and actually show up inside uh, you know, embedded in devices. And we're starting to call those intelligent systems, uh, not just Intel, but the industry in general, where you know, various devices actually have uh, processors in them, sometimes with multiple cores in those processors, and connectivity to the network. It's a different world, and some of the tools that we've been providing on the larger systems now find themselves really, really useful in the embedded world as well. We have a new product line called Intel System Studio, which actually provides those tools for embedded system designers. What about the, the Parallel Studio and Cluster Studio? Are those being used by embedded designers? They may be used by, by some in the very high end, people, uh -huh. for example, doing large military telecommunications systems that uh, have similar characteristics to, you know, large uh, you know, data processing systems, but traditionally they're used by uh, the, uh, I'd say, uh, HPC market, the technical computing market, the enterprise market, and even some of the, uh, the high-end desktop developers who uh, have long had to uh, both uh, get high performance uh, and good reliability out of complex multi-core systems. How about your system studio you mentioned? Is it, what are the parallel tools are in there as well? The parallel tools are in there. Uh, what we've done though is uh, we've uh, we've taken the relevant tools for the tools that are relative uh, relevant to the embedded market, and uh, we've combined those with uh, the kinds of channel uh, support lifetime as well as capabilities like system trace that developers in the embedded space also need. And what about the future? How do you see parallel processing developing in the future? For I mean, you, you mentioned that even the smallest uh, SOCs are now using multi cores. Um, yeah, and I think I think that trend is going to continue. I think the complexity of systems on a chip is going to increase, and so the need for tools like what we provide in uh, Intel System Studio is is likely to increase. If you have.